Good morning. God's blessings to you and your family, your loved ones, as we go into another week in the Word of God. Today we are in the book of, we are in the Old Testament. Uh, we are in the book of Hosea. Uh, we are in chapter 4 and verse 6. Again, it's a very familiar verse. For those who are not sure, it says, My people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. So I, I wanted to, to take a, a two seconds here and recognize what God is saying because the, the, the verse goes on to explain, you know, what happens. But I'm saying that lack of information, lack of knowledge is usually half the problem we have. Think about it. Whenever you have a plumbing problem, you ever notice that when the plumber comes to your house and he sees the problem, the plumber doesn't panic, you know? No. You might be panicking because your house flooding out, water running all over the place. The plumber is calm. You know why? The plumber has more knowledge than you have. So he recognizes, hey, this problem can be. You go to the hospital, emergency. Someone might be bleeding and dying. The doctor does not panic. Why? The doctor has more knowledge than you have. So you recognize immediately that the knowledge makes the difference. And of course, as the Bible says, the lack of knowledge, not having enough information or knowledge is half of the problem. You, you th think about yourself and your, your present situation. The areas that you are struggling in is usually the area you don't have enough information in. <laughs> think about it. The area that you are struggling in, whether it be relationship-wise, whether it be financial, whether it be emotional-wise, whatever area that you are having difficulty in, is usually because you don't have enough knowledge. And I'm saying to you today, take some time, do some research, do some checking, and get more knowledge so that you can make better decisions, more informed decisions, and that situation will be less of a problem simply because you have more knowledge. I say thank you. And today we give God thanks for his word. Amen.